Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in two days video I am going to be going through the Bitcoin range that we are currently trading in right now and how I am also very focused on altcoins over Bitcoin in this range to be honest. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. I want to start off by saying hope that you had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Christmas or if you do not celebrate just a nice time with your family and uh, looking forward to 2020, the new year. It's going to be absolutely massive, very, very, very good for for everybody involved in trading and crypto so it's it's, oh, it's very very much uh, looking forward to that uh, but with that said let's focus on what's happening right now on the chart on bitcoin and how i'm trading it okay uh, so we, all I want to say is, although it's slow, it's it's been fairly slow because the volume has been, you know, low over the Christmas period. Uh, so the volume has gone, you know, gone down. So the moves have been, you know, less substantial. But nevertheless, the, the, the areas where we're bouncing from are very, very, very technical. OK, so it's, it, you can definitely trade it. OK, so for transparency, I am in a Bitcoin short right now. Um, and I'll explain why. OK, so this is a bearish cipher pattern. OK, this was not my original. Uh, idea but what we have is a bearish cipher pattern nevertheless okay from x to a to b to c d and obviously d coming up to this confluence of resistances that we had at 7515 and about four different confluences come up to that weekly level before a sharp rejection and now we're just making lower highs and lower lows. Uh, so uh, yeah I am in a short but you have to be well one would uh, say now is a good area to take profit because this 7,280 level has just been very well defended if we're honest here. So if we just look at, you know, looking at the wicks here, okay, so support, 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 support prior to the move up that we had last night, okay. So naturally we have come down and tested this support region again and it's holding. So bulls are actively, you know, defending this area and until it's lost, okay, until it's lost, it is support. And this is not my overall target, by the way. So although I'm in a short, this is, is a good take profit, okay? So I am expecting overall the, you know, support to be broken, but while it is support, it's support. So one would say it's a good take profit region, a good sort of first target area, even if you are expecting lower prices. You've got to protect yourself and pay yourself a little bit if you've done a successful short. And you know, I have. So uh, this is this is support. So on the very short term, we are looking at this 7,280 as a support level. And, you know, coming down to the one minute, you can see the, you know, actually the bounce that we are getting from that level. OK. And it's just all stemming from, you know, prior support. People are still wanting wanting to see this uh, succeed. And yeah, it is currently. OK. Uh, so in the short term, we got that 7,280. I am on for more of a mid term. I'm much uh, only really swing trading the uh, Bitcoin. Okay, so I'm in a swing trade on a, a Bitcoin short. Oh, didn't want to move that. But next next target for me is is going to be here down at the 618, which does sit at 7,237. Okay, so that is going to be my next big target. Okay, so from this sort of region, 7,220 uh, to 7,240, let's say. Uh, you know, this for me is the next target. Then if that is lost. So I want to see a close below that level, okay? If we do close below that level, I will then be looking down towards 7K and around this 6.9 to 6.8K, you know, trading it really level to level, seeing the reactions that we get off said levels, seeing the volume that comes in, you know, just taking a look at the order book and, you know, you have to wait for the reactions off each level, but I am expecting these lower prices to come eventually uh, on the short term, still rising off of this support. So it's really, really clear that this is being well defended. Really, really is very clear volume though is not great okay so you just can see that the volume is, is not amazing but nevertheless you know bulls still defending that uh, as we speak okay so i guess I'll, I'll cover the bullish case where if this level is defended or maybe we do drop down again and bounce you know but uh, over the ever over off a perspective of a week to come okay because in a week we could definitely rise from here um so if we do get this rise then the next level i'm really really looking at with a key focus is our weekly higher weekly at 7861 okay we do actually have a month Monthly in here around 7,727 as well. So if you're aware, uh, so these are two major key levels for me. Where if broken, uh, it's, it's very, very, you know, quite bullish actually. Where we can see, uh, you know, rises into the eight, mid eight Ks. To be honest with you, so um, you know, those are the levels that I'm aware of and trading from. If we do cut, start to come above this weekly, I would likely close out on my short and try and get a higher up short. If I'm honest, uh, but in the short term, there's no reason for me to panic. In a short, in profits, 
looked in order to take, you know, what for me, you know, I could take profit region. Uh, but ultimately, I am expecting lower prices to come here, okay? Even if it's just a test of the lower prices before another rise, I still am ultimately expecting a bit lower prices uh, be before we get a rise, okay? Unless, okay, the only way, unless, is if this 27280 really does hold. Bulls do come in and we actually get an increase in bullish volume, which hasn't happened. If that does happen, then, you know, fair play and, you know, we can get a short squeeze underway, essentially. But, you know, I have protected myself, stops are in profit, but... Um, you know, that's really what I am trading on Bitcoin, okay? It's very, very simple, very sideways and slow, okay? So what do, how many times have I said, when Bitcoin ranges sideways, what do you do, okay? Very, very simple, when Bitcoin ranges sideways, I trade altcoins and that is what I have been focused on over the last week. So as you know, I have like a challenge account where I'm doing a uh, challenge on uh, BitMEX, okay, trading Bitcoin. And I also have a challenge account on Binance where I trade altcoins. This is obviously all to do with the, uh, the group, okay? And uh, the alts that I have been trading recently, uh, have been going very, going very, very well indeed, if I must say. Uh, so these are some of the positions that I'm in at the moment. Okay, so healthy, uh, this is about $400 profit to about what my losses are coming in at about $30. So pretty decent indeed. And then the history of trading. This is just so you can actually see that how, you know, to be honest, how well I have been trading this. Um, you know, again, like pretty nice profits. And these are, these are profits from altcoins, obviously. Okay, and... Um, this is the time. So this is really what you need to focus on, that when Bitcoin ranges, which it has been doing, okay, when Bitcoin ranges, you need to take advantage of the altcoins. And, and you know, that is exactly what I have been doing. And this is, you yeah, know, just a challenge account where I, you know, just update and say my trades that I'm doing in the group, I guess. But, you know, altcoins have been absolutely taken off. I guess the best one that I will share uh, here in this video was basic attention token. This has been absolutely perfect in what was a absolutely absolutely perfect abc correction so we saw one two three four five up the a to the b to the c giving a one-to-one -one extension so the, the the length of the a was a perfect one-to-one -one of the uh, c also coming here to the six six so it was just perfection easiest trades easiest trade one could ever see and from there we have seen a rise of 20%. Okay. Obviously, I've been in and out of this. So you can see there, bat, 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 in and out of it several times and still in it again at the moment. But you know, I've been trading this on my main account and the challenge account, both in and out of them both. And uh, yeah, some of the easiest money I've ever made. Uh, just trading the altcoins in general. Okay. So not just bat, but just. You know, you just have to recognize nice setups and, you know, jump in the setups, you know. Just, I have really, really thoroughly enjoyed trading altcoins, if I'm honest. And as uh, we, like, were joking in the group that these were my alts for Christmas, we had a 30% rise on mana, you know, what, 20% rise on bat. Uh, what else, you know, Stratus I've been trading recently, that was up about 10%. Uh, Theta has gone up about 6 7%. They you know, just a lot of... 10 plus percent gains. It's been, it's just been brilliant. CVC, traded CVC. Um... That was like a 14% overnight. I'll show you that one. 14% overnight. That was pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, so altcoins have just been like really, really well. And I do believe that while we still maintain range bound in Bitcoin, okay, so if we just come up to a four hour, while we remain range bound, and I wrote the range I'm referring to here is very much like this high, okay, down to this low, okay. While we remain within this range, alts can still, like, you know, have space to breathe and, you know, they definitely, definitely can you know, still have space to breathe. So I am much more aggressive on altcoins than I am on Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I'm in the short, but at the end of the day, if, if this stays range bound, I'll, I'll be more than happy. Uh, and I also get paid funding on BitMEX. So there's nothing to complain about, really. Get paid funding on BitMEX. So just passively earning money from doing nothing, essentially, uh, while trading altcoins. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's going really well. Um, and that's enough about that, that I guess I will just end with the final words of, you know, you, well, you know how I'm trading. Uh, focus more on altcoins, if I'm honest with you, because there's more money for me anyway at, at the moment in alts. Just, you know, 10% in a, a few hours is crazy. Um, but yeah, trading Bitcoin in a short. Still, I'm expecting lower prices, but 7280 critical support at the moment. Um, I hope that you honestly, please, everybody have an amazing 2020. Uh, you know, go out and celebrate New Year's with your friends or family. Uh, it should be good. Great start to the year. As I've said to my group several times, 2020 is the year of the trader. This is the year where you have to like push yourself, take a step forwards and, you know, just go out and change your life. You Trading will honestly, honestly change your life for the better. You know, having that freedom to literally do whatever you want. Work, you know, work wherever you want from in the world. Just having no ties, you know, trading is the goal. And, you know, I'm here to 
get you to that gold, essentially. So, um, you know, going to be a great year. Have, hope you have a brilliant one. Hope that you enjoy trading this Bitcoin range. Bull's still holding up at the moment. Um, and I've given you the key levels. So thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Hope you had a great holiday and uh, may you prosper in the new year. So thank you once again, everyone. If you have enjoyed, I would thoroughly appreciate a like down below. And uh, yeah, that's me signing out. Cheers, everybody. And goodbye. Thank you.